We have seen foldable phones. We have seen rollable phones. In fact, I just did a video on that recently. The one thing we haven't seen much change on though are smart watches. But that's about to change thanks to Samsung. Hi, welcome to Zigaj Review. Smart watches are that tech product that didn't take off as much as people thought they would. When smartwatches was first announced, people were super excited about them, about the possibility of the things that you could do with a watch. People envisioned themselves talking to people on their wrist and doing things that you had only seen in movies. Well, the reality of doing those things out in public and in the daily life that one leads is usually not that convenient. And also, the fact is these little things don't do a great job of listening to conversations or allow you to listen to a conversation because the speaker is so small, or a lot of times people being able to hear you when you speak into them. So I will think that the smartwatch market will have been a lot bigger than it is but the truth is that it isn't. These devices have mostly become health trackers that people use to uh, track their workouts, how many steps they take, to look at their messages quickly at a glance, and things of that nature. So a lot of people aren't huge fans of smartwatches. A lot of people don't own smartwatches. But that doesn't mean the companies aren't trying to make things better or trying to improve on the technology on your wrist. And that's the case for Samsung. Samsung is a company that as of late has been working on a lot of things to move technology forward. One of those examples is foldable devices. We have the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and the Galaxy Z Fold. Both devices are foldable phones, and one can say that they are the premium and mostly only foldable devices in the market at the moment. Samsung, of course, is, I will say, the top seller of smartwatches when it comes to the Android space. They have been doing great with their Galaxy smartwatches. They have improved these watches year after year with each iteration. I will personally argue that they're not the greatest health fitness tracker because there are a lot of things that they miss out on. The sensors are not that good or as good as they should be by now. So I have my issues with Samsung, but you cannot argue that they are the biggest sellers of smartwatches when it comes to the Android side of things. Nothing to do with Apple, of course. So it makes sense that they will want to improve on this technology or make the technology, move the technology forward by improving on what already exists. Not only so they can be synonymous with smartwatches as they have become, become with foldable devices, but also in order to maybe get some of the market out there of people who are not convinced on getting smartwatch yet. And they're doing this by literally creating a new different form factor of smartwatches. There is a patent by Samsung on a new smartwatch, and this comes from Let's Go Digital. So as you can see on the image, we have, it looks like two different form factors for the watch. So first we have the regular or classic round face smartwatch. And it looks like here you could open that watch by moving your fingers across the screen, or you could use it, do it by pressing the button on the side. This is for a rollable smartwatch with a camera. Then we have something that looks oval shape or pill shape. And it looks like you have three different ways that you can do it. And one is, again, moving your fingers across the screen, pressing the button on the side, or sliding your finger across the middle of the screen. Now, it looks like this will open a camera for you, and the top of the screen will continue providing you the time and information on the smartwatch, while the bottom of the screen where it says active camera becomes your viewfinder. So, of course, leave it to Samsung to bring us a rollable device, not on the form of a phone yet, but this time on the form of a smartwatch. 
as the images show, it looks like they're toying with different ways in which you could interact with the device. This will not only change the form factor of a regular smartwatch, but it will also add something that most smartwatches don't have, and that's a camera. There are some, I will say, gimmicky things about this, of course, starting with the camera. There have been smartwatches that have a camera. Usually the camera is positioned in this part of the phone of, of the watch or in this part of the watch. And that's so if you want to take a picture, you can take a picture, of course, using the face of the watch as a viewfinder and the camera being here and vice versa. So having a camera that points directly at you means that they are uh, targeting this towards people who take selfies, a lot of selfies, so you can do it quickly on the go. You don't have to pull your phone out and use it. You can just you do the watch because taking a picture like this, you know, and trying to look at what you're doing will be very difficult. I guess technically you could flip the watch and put it at the bottom of your wrist, but you still have the same issue where you got to try to figure out what you're looking at by doing this and taking a picture. So it's not the best way to take a picture of things around you. But that could also be done for security reasons where you have a camera on your wrist and it's, you know, kind of obvious that you're walking around like this, taking pictures of things or uh, taking video of things you shouldn't be taking pictures or videos of. The other thing I think is actually admirable is the fact that you could split the screen. And that could be maybe to look at something that uh, a bigger image, like if you get a picture and you want to be able to look at the picture better, you know, if you could open the screen completely without a camera in the middle obstructing your view, that would be actually pretty cool. But besides that, I don't really see that much innovation, you know, besides the fact that you could split the, the, the screen and make it bigger because you will still have that gap in the middle due to the camera. And so I don't see that it adds that much uh, use to the extra space where that bottom part of the screen will always just be used as a viewfinder and not necessarily as more information for the device. It will be great if they do improve on this in the future, if this actually becomes a real product and they actually make it so you could expand the screen and have more information, you know, just make the screen a little, a little larger so you could make a smartwatch a little more useful than what it is today. Of course, there are some other things that are yet to be figured out, right? One is smartwatches today because they're used mostly as fitness trackers. They are resistant to water and dust and falling off your wrist, even though they're mostly in the wrist and, you know, maybe hitting them onto things by mistake and things like that, which I've done with this thing a million times without even realizing or even trying to do it. So having these screens that we know are very fragile because sliding screens we know are very fragile, to have something in your wrist that all those things could happen to is something that, of course, I see happening way out in the future. If this product is something that's becoming a reality and it comes out this year or next year, I don't think that we will have a product that will be durable for at least five or six years after that happens, you know, where we'll be able to see a phone that you, I mean, not a phone, but a watch you can actually submerge into water that is resistant to your sweat and banging onto things. If they're able to figure that out early, Great job, Samsung, but I don't think that's going to happen right away. Continue with Samsung smartwatch news. Samsung has gotten a little bit bigger foothold in the smartwatch market. As I was saying earlier, Apple, of course, is, you know, the king of smartwatches. That is just what it is. Whether you like Apple or not, they've been able to carve a niche in that market, a huge niche in that market, if you want to call it for them. But this year is the first year that Apple actually lost market share in the smartwatch market. And as we see these numbers here, we have year over year growth by Apple has dropped by 3.6%. It's not a huge drop, but it is a drop nonetheless. Coming right under that is Samsung with a gain of 13.8%. That is huge for Samsung and I will say Android or Wear OS. 
by getting a push into the market and getting there a little bit closer to Apple. So to break this down, we have the third quarter shipments in 2021. Apple was 39.8. Samsung was 12.2. The market share was 28.8 and 9.2. And then we have the amount of shipments last year. So 2020, we have 41.3 by Apple, 11.2 by Samsung, and their market share was 32.8 and 8.9. And then we have other players uh, below that, uh, Xiaomi, Huawei, and uh, Xiaomi, Xiaomi, is, is how you actually say that, <laughs> uh, lost 23.8%. Xiaomi actually got hit hard. That's a huge loss in market share. But hey, here's Samsung, pushing into the smartwatch market and that also makes sense that they will want to innovate in the smartwatch market in order to as i said earlier gain a bigger chunk of that market what do you think about this patent by samsung will this make you want to buy a smartwatch or do you think it's a crazy idea to do something like this like why would you put a camera no one needs it no one's going to use it kind of thing let me know in the comment section tell me your feelings or thoughts about this new patent and the fact that apple has lost some market share in the smartwatch market that's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.